sponsored Mali candidate who landed with a private jet in South Africa. However, thanks to the resistance and formidable spirit of the Southern Caucus, supported by the Northern Caucus and all progressive members of the Pan-African Parliament, France plot was defeated. We call on France to stay out of African affairs, in particular the Pan-African Parliament. We further make a call to all African youth in Francophone countries to fight the, Fr the France agenda to keep Africa and its leadership chained, chained to imperialist interests. That the President uh, Emmanuel Macron's visit to South Africa coincided with pro Pope's program to elect a president, which means Macron, like his Minister of Foreign Affairs, was meant to give a surprise visit and address the Pan-African Parliament with the hope that Pope will have elected their supported Francophone candidate. The refusal Second address, 9 verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Remember, you just had that uh, a thousand people die from that earthquake. Okay, in Afghanistan. But these uproars, these uproars, we're going to deal with it. Okay. It's a lot going on besides this Russia and this um, NATO situation, which is, which is the top one. But. There's a lot of little side shows going on, okay? Let's keep going. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Barakathai Hawa, Barakathai Hawa Shah, Barakathai Hawa. Barakathai Hawa Sha, Barakathai Hawa, Barakathai Hawa Sha, Barakathai Hawa, Barakathai Hawa Sha, Baha Shem, Rakar Kadash. I'd like to give a shout out and salute to the brothers across the four corners of the earth trying to preach this truth and say the elect. Hopefully, you and me is one of them. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. I believe those are the men sent during this time to wake us up. All right. <clears throat> France announces troop withdrawal from Mali after nine-year campaign. The pullout came after falling out between France and Mali in West Africa and in a military effort that failed to drive out violent extremists. And, and, and see, that, that's, that's their catch line, violent extremists. We're going to come back and visit that. But I'm going to tell you how I stumbled upon this. <clears throat> Was at work and I seen a guy with a huge red, black, and green flag. And um, I asked him what the flag was about. I kind of knew, but I was trying to spark a conversation with him. So he went to Pan-Africanism and stuff like that. And then that's when I kind of um, remembered this situation. However, this is far more worse than what they're telling you. Okay? That's why I played the clip because what's happening over there now is... Because um, they use pretty much French money, okay? However, over there, I think it's 15 nations that use uh, France money. They're telling them to get the hell up out of there. And now they're protesting everywhere. And now it's starting to snowball. Mali won them out. Um, you see what's going on in South Africa, South uh, Julius Molina saying they want France out of all them African nations. They, I'm going to show you all these different protests. And it's like all of them, all of them come together because when they use, they use uh, fr pretty much French money. It's called the Francophone. And there's over 15 nations in Africa. All them nations are coming together telling them, get the hell out. Okay? Get out. And... Now they call them violent extremes. You know, that's the that's the cold word they use when they want to send in more troops. OK. So. You got people out here saying you could flee to Africa. Well, Africa get ready to go on this war, too. OK. They get ready, get ready to go on this war, too. Let's keep going. Ezekiel 38, verse 5, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet, okay? They go a lot of your African uh, nations right there, okay? 
Goma and all his bands, the house of Togomar and the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. See, a lot of these people, they, they, they're starting to choose sides now. Okay. And let me let me show you this clip that I want you to see, because hey, and it's snowballing fast over in Africa. Let me show you this clip. E now this is South Africa. March demanding France to leave Africa. Yeah, this is protesting in South Africa, but it's everywhere. I'm gonna show you. EFF protesters march demanding France to leave Africa. Hundreds of demonstrators from the South African Economic Freedom Fighters Party marched on Africa Day to the French Embassy in Pretoria. As the continent marks the 59th anniversary of the foundation of the Organization of African Unity. The protesters demanded that France should leave Africa. Dressed in their traditional red t-shirts and caps, the political activists carried placards reading, France must pay reparations for its colonial crimes. The party leader, Julius Malema, urged France to exit the economic, political, cultural, and military affairs of the continent. Armed police guarded the embassy, and French ambassador Aurelien Le Chevalier appeared briefly to receive the protesters' memorandum of demands, vowing to convey it to Paris. Demonstrations against the French policy in Africa have taken place across the continent in the past few months. Yeah, see, it's picking up steam. You see this? They want them to pay reparations. You see that? And this is in South Africa. Remember, you got Mali, you got other co uh, countries. I'm going to show you. And they're forming like a whole, I mean, you already had a Pan-African uh, movement, but but the most high is causing these people to pick it up and, and, and grow in numbers, you know. And hey, it's like he, he building these armies all across the planet, okay, to, to get it, Esau, eat them, okay. They get ready to not be safe nowhere, okay. And they're going to send troops in there, but it ain't going to help them this time because they, they, got, they got Russia and China on their heels too, okay. See, you can't fade the most high. There's no way out of this. You can't go to Africa and, and go sit on the beach and Mali and sip your tie ties, okay, and thinking you're going to be good. You you can't um flee to South America and, and, and go um surfboarding, you know, thinking you're going to uh, listen to some Coca Cabana all day. No, everybody is going to have to deal with this, okay? The most high is coming to put work in, okay? And I, hey, either he's gonna have mercy on you because you've been praying, you you you've been trying to um be brotherly, you've been trying to uh, follow the law, statutes, and commandments, or hey, you're gonna be dealt a uh, punishment, plain and simple. You're gonna be judged. Okay, let's keep going. They just have to, you see, now that they're leaving everything, we'll be back to normal education, among other things. But also, it's the end of our suffering. It is also an opportunity for us to support our authorities. I am here as an African, going out for Africa dignity here in Mali. That's what France is doing. We Africans don't agree today. We don't agree tomorrow. Long live Africa. Long live Mali. Long live our leader, Asimi Goetje. divided in two those who have everything and those who have nothing and ECOWAS instead of remedying this imposes sanctions on us we have no more factories no more trains our children are out of work we are really fed up give our authorities for our good Genesis 4, verse 14. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from the face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. See, 
these devils their time is almost up you see that they get ready to be vagabonds okay they ain't gonna be nowhere safe on the entire planet pretty soon okay let's keep going way in many ways many observers in uh, west africa see the steps taken by mali which is to move away from france and closer to other superpowers such as russia the russian mercenaries and short russian democracy but for many in burkina faso this military takeover is seen a step forward for security in the region mali leading the way in many ways many observers in uh, west africa see the steps taken by mali which is to move away from france and closer to other superpowers such as russia the russian mercenaries and short russian democracy but for many in burkina faso this military takeover is seen a step forward for security in the region mali leading the way in many ways many observers in uh, west africa see the steps taken by mali which is to move away from france and closer to other superpowers such as russia the russian mercenaries and short russian democracy but for me How long? And what is Russia's interest in Africa? Your artifacts stolen during the colonial wars and reached out beyond the usual intergovernment ties to engage. Please, this country, Francophone, following their development, it's kind of intimidating. Thank you. I'm sure that very soon there'll be no nation necessary. Forgive me for that, yeah, um, the sound, but, um, yeah, let me, uh, fix it right quick. And later defied calls to restore civilian rule swiftly. Taking a cue from their neighbors, Chadians reigned on the streets, protesting and also chanting slogans against France. Yeah, see, even Chad is a lot of nations, okay? A lot of nations, um, like I said, I think it's almost 15 nations. And see, they, they want to um, join uh, Russia now. I'm trying to find a picture so I can show you. Look, and, and this is an African. She got a Chicago flag, a Chicago hat on. You see that? <laughs> Jake's over there with that Pan-Africanism. I told you I seen a guy at work had that Pan-African flag, and he was going into it. You see? See, the most high stirring up these people's minds, okay? They're going to get these devils, you see? Let's keep going. Look, and look, look at that picture he got, you see? Hey, you see? That's the times we live in. The most high stirring these people's spirits up, okay? Let's keep going. What do you make of Russia's rise and popularity in the Sahel and West Africa? Can these countries trust the Kremlin? And despite accusations of propaganda and disinformation by Russia... What is Putin's interests in Africa? Yeah, I can't find it, but hey, it, it's people, um, a lot of these nations, they starting to support Putin now, okay? So, hey, the most high, he out here, um, hey, he's stirring things up, okay? He fanning the flames. They saying the Euphrates, the, uh, Euphrates River is drying up, okay? Hey, it's a lot going on, okay? And I just want to thank the Most High because we're living through these times, okay? 
So yeah, I'm gonna get a scripture and close out. But yeah, this whole Africa situation with France is getting ready to blow up, and I'm thinking they're gonna have to send a, a whole a whole bunch of troops in Africa, and they're gonna get their ass tore up this time. Okay, because remember, you got you got China over there now, all all through Africa. You got Russia going over there. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna get a scripture and close out, but um. Yeah, keep your eye on all these things going on. There's a lot of things going on all at once. Ecclesiastes 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. Okay? And we're witnessing the fall of Esau, Edom. All right? Hey, and see, it's Jake's uh, over there too. But hey, the most high putting a spur on a man, they, hey, they get ready to cut up over there. You see that? This man is getting ready to be not safe nowhere. You see this man, he on a damn subway yell, yelling at people, telling them our friends don't produce anything, which he telling the truth. Okay? So, hey, the most high point is spurred out. You're seeing it manifest everywhere, okay? It's, it's, it's causing some people to go on a rage and a fit. It's, it's causing um other jakes and stuff to um get into the spur more. You know, put up more digital epistles. It's just causing some people to bug out, okay? And it's causing all these wars to pop off. It's just the time we living in, right? So, yeah. I just wanted to get this out to the family right quick. I'll see you again real soon. Shalom. Hey, yeah, and hey, it just came out that uh, Ju Julius Malema also called for um, the troops to occupy uh, French embassies. You see? So yeah, I see you again real soon, Shalom.